how to track link clicks in Google Analytics. In this video session, I'm going to show you how to track link clicks using Google Analytics event tracking. Keep in mind, this technique will work with Universal Analytics because next generation of Google Analytics is a little bit different. And yet I'm going to show you a tip whereby you can actually use both of them without burdening your web page load times. Let's imagine you have a PDF download link and you want to track that, which is smart, or any link on your website. Sometimes it's smart to test things because then you know what works and what doesn't. Let's imagine you've changed the color on your add to cart buttons and you want to track that. You want to track the impact of it. Then you utilize Google Analytics event tracking and this is how it's done. Let's imagine I'm actually tracking this new link that I have going to the master class course because I believe it will be of use to the website owner community as well as small business owner community with free videos as well as the paid version. But what if I was to place that link perhaps at the top? Would that make a better outcome? Makes sense? So link tracking is important and this is how we need to do it. Somewhere on your website, you have Google Analytics tracking code correct? All you need to do is modify the code by adding a variable. I'll actually make this code available on Rank Your Blog, whereby you can simply copy paste, make changes to track your website links, okay? I'll briefly touch base with what's going on here. Google Analytics tracking is done through a variable and a function call. As we see, G tag, that's an event. We can name our event anything that we want. Our new event, let's say 2022, as an example. Then category, we provide category. You can read more about events because some things are required, such as the category and action, whereby label and value is optional fields. That means you don't have to use them, but you may. Let's imagine PDF download link that you have, someone has to pay for, let's say 10 bucks, and you wanna add a value as $5 per click. So you can track that value, okay? Keep that in mind. In this video session, for basic link tracking, I'm not using any value. So we have event category, we provided a label, for our event, then we're using transport type beacon. That means we're sending a beacon back to Google Analytics and we're calling back an on-click event that's going to take the URL portion that we provide. Basically, your Google Analytics tracking code will look something like this. All you need to do is just add that and clear the empty lines because we never need them. So it's much cleaner, okay? And then there is one more thing we need to modify and that is the link itself. How we do that is we provide an on-click event and then give the name to the variable that we've created. The name of the variable must match this here. Okay, so whatever the name you've provided for that event, it has to match this or else it won't work. And then whatever the URL that you're tracking, let's say example, let's say PDF download page. So someone clicks the link and they will be going to that page. And then you're using on click event. Let me actually cut that out. So your link will look something like this by default. 
all you need to do is add an on click event okay so let me actually show you the color coded version so basically that's what the link looks like without event tracking then you just need to make sure that it has on click event for that link that means when someone clicks the link itself that event callback will be taken in by Google Analytics and a beacon will be sent back to Google Analytics for you to analyze and in Google Analytics what you need to do is log into your Google Analytics in the behavior tab you have events and then you press on overview and you will see the event category event action event label that you've provided so all that will be coming from here okay so these are optional as in you can change it to anything that you want ideally you want to make the naming of the event event category logical if it's a pdf download link then you provide the name accordingly okay so that is how you track link clicks and the next generation of Google Analytics is different, correct? And I'm going to show you how you can use both. Meaning, you don't have to use two different tracking codes like some website owners do. Instead, you can just use the one script for the next generation of Google Analytics. And all you then have to do So you can, let's imagine you are using the next generation of Google Analytics with an ID that will be unique to your setting and that will be identify, identified as G hyphen, right? But you also want to use Google Analytics universal tracking code. Then you don't have to download two different scripts but rather simply add the ID for universal tracking. That means using just one script, you're utilizing the next generation of Google Analytics, as well as continue using universal analytics without burdening page load times. Because now you can track links. Remember, next generation of Google Analytics tracking is different you won't be able to use this technique using the next generation of Google Analytics this technique will work only for universal analytics but I've shown to you how to utilize the next generation and then all you need to do is just add that line that will be unique to your Google Analytics property I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.